so hello guys welcome to this session and in this session we are going to discuss few basic things about the data analysis in advanced excel so most of you have been done with the advanced data data analysis in advanced excel like for the business analysis data analysis and multiple roles are there where we are taking your where we, where we are taking in use the data analysis in excel so right now in this video we are just going to discuss about how we can take the help of chat gpt to do the data analysis in excel and in a similar way we will do the discussion about other topics like how we can take help of gpt for eda and in an advanced way also in case of future so right now i have this small chunk of data set from a specific company this is e-commerce store sales database right now we have and this is very small data set Talking about this data set, we have few values like year, month, state, manager, brand, customer sector, sales value. So while it comes to the data analysis at very first, we will we discuss, we discuss in a team, we do the meeting, or in between, we have to do the critical thinking. How we can find out the best relationship? Best relationship between the column values we have in this data set. Right now, this is very easy data set. So it is very easily anyone can understand the relations between this data set and anyone can do the very easily the data analysis with this data set. So this is the dummy data set. Already we have the few values like date and so many other columns are there. But I have removed all these values. I have do I have did the pre-processing with this data set. I have did cleaning and all these things with this data set. So right now in this data set only we have the year, month, state, manager, brand, customer and sales value. Now we have to think critically and we have to find out the relations in this data set. So as to come up with best insights and best conclusions for this specific business or for this specific e-commerce store. Talking about this data set, I will do one thing. At this moment, <clears throat> suppose in case of future, you have to do the critical thinking and at this moment you have the different different values. While it comes to the exploratory data analysis in Python, we can take help of uh, heat map, correlation heat map. So correlation heat map represents us the best relationship between the specific columns. But while it comes to the Excel, we have to do the critical thinking on our own and it will be the somehow hard part to find out the, crit the relations between multiple columns. So at this moment still with this uh, data set, it is very easy to find out the data set. Right now I will do one thing. I will click on year, then I will press control shift and right arrow. I will select all the columns. I will do the copy. I will go to the chat GPT and I will do the control V. So already I have been did this part. So we have the year from these columns year, month and all these values already I have been posted, pasted here. Right now I have to just run the prompt and uh, I have to give the guide. I have to provide the guideline to GPT so as it will be come up with the best relations best relationship between this data set and already I have been done this part. So I have been asked GPT to do key. Uh, I want to do the data analysis in Excel and I have the above columns column value give me best relations to find the insights from given data set. Right now on this prompt chat GPT has been responded as like we can do data analysis find meaningful to find meaningful insights from given data set we have to perform the various data analysis techniques in excel and uh, gpt has been suggested a few techniques like they it has been suggested the total sales value per state then sales value then sales performance by manager like here we have the column manager state and sales value we can compare these two columns state value and sales value this will be the univariate analysis then we have the second value is the performance by manager. While it comes to the performance by manager, we can do analysis between manager and sales value. So as it will give us the more clarity about which manager is doing uh, the best performance, like Divanch and so many other managers are there, five, six around managers are there in this data set. And then we have the brand performance. We have the two brand two, four kind of brands two, three, four kind of this brand. And we have to do the comparison of this brand. And if you, we have to find out the performance of brand by sales, then definitely we can do the comparison of brands with sales. So very easily it is possible for us to find out or come up with the so many relations relationship with this data set using GPT. 
but in case of feature of file it comes to the critical thinking and critical data set then definitely at this moment it will be the huge useful for all of you then we have the sales distribution by customer sector and talking about the sales distribution definitely customer sector we have the column and we have to do the analysis between both of these columns like sales value and customer sector then we have the monthly sent we have to find the monthly sales trend we can go for it like we have to come up with this column and we have to come up with the sales value at the end and uh, which will give us the relationship between customer uh, sales distribution per month wise like then uh, we have the correlation we have to find correlation between sales and other variables like with sales we can go for the other value variables like year month state manager brand any variable just because of this is the sales database and talking about the companies they have the different different database like purchase expense and other departments also so right now we have the sales database so with this data set we can only perform the data analysis and the core value in this data set is the sales column is the core value column and with this column we can do the comparison with other columns and uh, once again it has been suggested as the top customers but talking about the customers we don't have the column customer we have the column only customer sector that's why it is not possible for us to find out the top customers uh, then it has been suggested the sales performance by state and brand so sales performance by state and brand so here is the state here is a brand and here is a sales value we have to do the we have to find out the relation between all of these like we can check out for the sale relationship between brand state and sales like uh, specific brand is doing how much sales in specific state like brand 2 is doing we can come up with a problem statement like how much brand 2 is doing the sales in rajasthan how much brand 3 is doing sales in hp kind of problem statements we can come up with then uh, we have the manager performance by state so for that we have to compare manager state and sales we have to come up with the, this column three columns relationship for this we can find out come up with the problem statement like how much divansh is doing sales in rajasthan state like consider divansh is doing the sales in multiple state but at this moment if only we have to find out the sales of divansh in rajasthan then definitely we can come up with this analysis then customer sector breakdown for each brand okay customer sector breakdown we have the customer sector for each brand so we can do the analysis between three columns like customer brand and sales value talking about this we can find out the how much sales uh, for brand 2 has been done in the banking sectors uh, banking sector so kind of relationship we can definitely find out and using by taking the help of gpt already i have been performed the sales data analysis for this data set and these are the pivot tables i have been already inserted and we have the charts on sales dashboard page and these are the beautiful charts we have with this page so definitely in coming video we'll do the discussion we'll check out with proper data analysis for the same data set uh, in coming video with same playlist we can go for it right now if you can if you are willing to check with a specific problem statement like we can create the problem statements on our own for the specific data state like i want to find out the sales happened in last three years in january month only with uh, i want to find out the sale only with delhi in delhi so these are the values in only in telecom and banking sector sales has been done in delhi in january month in last three years so from this we have the we have the kind of clarity how the sales is going on with this specific relationship and these values are going to find help us to find out the insights from these data sets and once we have been come up with this data set definitely it will be helpful for us to plan the marketing campaigns do the do the internal insightful uh, to take the internal insightful decision making so kind of think uh, kind of thing will be helpful for us in case of future so for now in this video we will discuss only this part talking about only the part of chat gpt how can we how we can go for the how we can take the help of chat gpt to do the data to do the data analysis and find out the base relationships to gain the best insights from given data sets so in next video definitely we'll do discussion about the real time pro uh, about the project we'll do the data analysis project on same data set and for this video 
uh, this is more than enough for this video and thanks for watching this video have a great day goodbye